challenges um i'm loving all the creative work you're doing it's so great i'm so so proud of you keep up the good work um and why don't we get started with our um movement and movement for today okay <laughs> Seven, 
Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Let's shake that out. Let's shake that out. Good. Let's shake that right arm. Feel that energy. I'm shaking it out here. Get my arm disappeared. Let's shake our left arm. Good. And our right and our left and both. Let's feel that energy. Imagine there is um, energy pulsing through your body. You're holding your hand out. You're feeling energy and it's going all through your body. Stop. Good. And feel that energy pulsing through your body. It's so energetic. And stop. Good. Again, feel that energy is pulsing. Good. Then the hands go up. They come down. Good. And then your leg is you're feeling that energy and stop. Good. Okay. Let's warm up our feet within our mouths. All right. So you know, imagine there's a big wad of gum, so big, it's like as big as the earth. Right, very round and big. You put it in your mouth and you're chewing it. You're chewing that big wad of gum. And it's hard to chew it because it's so big that you had to really work hard when you're chewing this gum. Good, 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 good. And imagine now you have peanut butter. And uh, you have some on your top lip, have some on your bottom lip, a little bit on the left side of your mouth and on the right side of your mouth. You're trying to get that peanut butter off. You go to your top lip and your bottom lip and your left side and your right side. And your top lip, and your bottom up, and your left side, and your right side. And your top lip, and your bottom lip, and your left side, and your right side. And your top lip, and your bottom up, and your left side, and your right side. Okay, now imagine you're about to blow out 50, 70, 50, 75 candles on a cake. All right? You need to take a deep breath in. Blow out the candles on the cake. Ready? And deep breath in. Blow out all those candles on the cake. Make sure you get every last one. Because there are 75 candles on that cake. Ready? And take a deep breath in. Some of us are closer to that 75 than others. All right. Take that deep breath in. And blow it out of the candles on the cake. <laughs> Good. And take that deep breath in. <laughs> and blow out of the candles on the cake. All right, and guys, actually, breath support is something I need to work on. I do always have the best breath support. I need to keep working on it, keep challenging myself. All right, let's do some tiny twisters. Um, Fuzzy Wuzzy was the bear. 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 Peter Piper bit the pick of pickle peppers. Peter Piper bit the pick of pickle peppers. Peter Piper bit the pick of pickle peppers. One more time. Peter Pepper bit the pick of pickle peppers. Good. And my favorite that always trips me up. She sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, good, good. Now we're going to do our insults. Um, we're going to do four today. And again, I I feel after going back and forth, it's better for 
you see the insult and to me told you the word by having the insult or the words take up the um entire um screen and the opinion down there. But what I will remind you to do is I'm gonna coach you, we're gonna go that working all we come from embodying an emotion, right? Okay, I may say we want to physicalize that a little bit, all right? Because you're not going to see me on camera, but what would it mean to physicalize something too? So I might need to engage when we do these, your entire, all four of your tools, your acting tools, and, and self-care too, to be gentle with yourself, but engage your imagination. Who are you going to be talking to when you do each of these? Engage your voice. Engage your breath. Do you engage your movement? Is there a physical movement that you're going to have? Is there emotion? But really, each time, engage the tools. All right? So let's go to the first one. Okay, guys, imagine you might be talking to your horrid image. Does unfix my hair. You pee up me if you need to. See who you're talking to, really. Oh, your horrid image does unfix my hair. Good, let's try that one more time. We're gonna do each one three times. Really feel it. Your horrid image. Does unfix my hair. <laughs> good job, good job, guys. Good, good, good. Really good, guys. Really good. Shake that out. Shake that out. Again, keep on each time, guys. Not so much. Or oh, whether we're repeating these or we've done them before, it's really going deeper each time. And that's why I really like using the insults. So we may be circling them through, but I think they're just the best way to be versus to just work on all four tools. So um, we're getting back to some insults. So, let's go to our second one. Okay, guys, good. Let's go on to this one. Find a way with this to be really dismissive. Like, oh, you don't have time for this person. All right? Blind face is not worth sunburning. Repeat after me if you need to. Be very condescending. Really put this person down. Blind face is not worth sunburning. Good, and repeat that to me if you need to. Very condescending, really look down on this person. Fine face is not worth sunburning. Good, and let's do that one more time. Fine face is not worth sunburning. Good job, guys, good job. Good, good, take a deep breath. Blow that out, let that go. Keep deepening, keep going deeper. Really see those people you're talking to, whoever you salt and who's making you angry or mad. It was, you're, respond, you're responding always to someone. Don't just say if you've been, as if you're in a room with nobody. Really visualize somebody that you are saying this to. All right? Let's go to our third one. Okay, guys, for this one, if I prove honey mouth, let my tongue blister. Start up being very sweet and then get it twist. If I prove honey mouth, let my tongue blister. So I want that shift, all right? So again, imagine who you're speaking to, start out very sweetly, then go for that, oh, go for that dig. If I proved honey mouth, let my tongue blister. Okay, good. 
Remember, go for that sweet and sour. If I prove honey mouth, if I prove honey mouth, let my tongue blister. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. You guys are doing great. Good, good, good. The more specific you are in letting that, letting yourself be affected by that person and your imagination and responding to that person, right? This is your response. They've done something. That person has done something. You are responding. In the, in the audition, um, when we're in auditioning, when we're auditioning, when we are auditioning, everything had to come from our imagination. Our reader may not give us what we need, so everything we need to work on is through our imagination. Imagine what someone said and therefore we're responding. So this is a great tool also to develop that imagination. Okay. Let's go to our final one. Okay, so guys, this one, I'll talk about your throat, your bawling blossom is in terrible dog. I want you to say that under your breath. So the person there, maybe they're in the room, but you won't, don't want them to hear you. So I'll talk about your breath, your bawling blossom is. And terrible dog. So again, you're looking at that person, but you don't want them to hear you. Seething under your breath, a pox on your throat. You're blowing blasts from this terrible dog. Good. Let's try that one more time. A pox on your throat. You're blowing blasts from this terrible dog. Good job, good, good job. Really great work today, really great work today, guys. I'm so, so proud of you. Um, I will send out your Friday email today, which will also have a reminder for you to do the assignment, to do a slate, a full body slate. I will be sending out the 23rd Sonnet, which is our Sonnet Challenge for this month. And guys, know when you're sending your creative work, I will always do that on Thursday. So if, you know, you send it on Monday or Tuesday or this weekend and I don't get to it, please know I will. I always think of it on Thursday because it's due um, Wednesday. So I review homework on Thursday. I reviewed work yesterday. So, you know, hopefully you guys, um, you know, I always comment, but I always know it will be on Thursdays. All right, guys. Really good work, like I said today. We're going to end it the way we begin it with a little more moving and grooving to some pop classical music. Oh, God, I'm so proud of you. You know, this musician, Happy Hancock, went to school with my mom and my uncle. This is a musician, Happy Hancock, again, like I said, I think he went to junior high or elementary with my mom and my uncle. Beautiful weekend, and I'll see you on Zoom on Monday. I love you all so much.